Spain is a land of breathtaking landscapes, vibrant traditions, and centuries-old architecture. But beneath the surface lies an even more fascinating story written in the DNA of its people. Modern genetic research has revealed that the ancestry of Spaniards is among the most diverse in Europe, a living record of migration, conquest, and cultural exchange spanning tens of thousands of years. Imagine tracing your family tree and finding roots not only in Europe, but also in North Africa, the Middle East, and even deep into prehistory. For many Spaniards, this isn't just imagination, it's reality. Their DNA carries the signatures of ancient Iberian tribes, seafaring Neolithic farmers, Indo-European-speaking Celts, Roman settlers, Germanic warriors, and Moorish rulers from across the Mediterranean. Each wave of people left its imprint, blending into the genetic mosaic that defines Spain today. But the story goes even deeper. New studies have shown surprising continuities. Some Spaniards still carry DNA from Paleolithic hunter-gatherers who walked Iberia over 10,000 years ago. Others show traces of unexpected migrations, including links to Sub-Saharan Africa, likely dating to the era of Islamic rule and the Trans-Saharan trade. The result is a genetic puzzle that challenges the idea of a single Spanish origin. Instead, Spain's people are the product of countless historical crossroads, where cultures met mixed and created something entirely new. In this video, we'll travel through time, uncovering how prehistoric settlers, ancient empires, and medieval kingdoms all helped shape the DNA of modern Spaniards. From the mysterious first inhabitants to the enduring legacy of the Moors, the story of Spain is not just one of kings and battles. It's a tale written in blood, bone, and history itself. Long before Spain was Spain, the Iberian Peninsula was home to some of Europe's earliest inhabitants. After the last Ice Age ended roughly 12,000 years ago, Paleolithic hunter-gatherers moved into the peninsula, following herds and foraging along its coasts. These early peoples left more than cave paintings in places like Altamira. They also left genetic traces still present in modern Spaniards today. Around 7,500 years ago, a monumental shift occurred. Neolithic farmers from the eastern Mediterranean arrived by sea and land, bringing with them domesticated plants, animals, and new technologies. They mixed with the local hunter-gatherers, blending two very different ways of life. The DNA of modern Spaniards still carries markers from both groups, showing how these early contacts set the foundation for peninsula's genetic diversity. By the Bronze Age, another migration wave reshaped Iberia, the spread of the Bell Beaker culture. Known for their distinctive pottery, these people likely brought new metalworking skills and possibly Indo-European languages into the region. Genetic studies suggest that their arrival caused significant population turnover, with a large proportion of Iberia's male lineages being replaced. It's in this era that Proto-Iberian societies began to take form, with complex trade networks connecting the peninsula to the wider Mediterranean. This early interconnectedness meant Iberia was never truly isolated. It was already a meeting place of cultures and peoples. What's striking is how many of these prehistoric genetic signatures still survive in modern Spaniards. In rural areas, especially in the northern interior, DNA evidence shows continuity stretching back thousands of years, even through later waves of conquest and migration. So when we speak of Spanish identity, it's important to remember that its roots go deeper than any empire or kingdom. Before the Romans, before the Moors, and even before the Celts, the land was shaped by generations of prehistoric peoples whose legacy still lives on, in the blood of the people and the landscapes they once call home. By the first millennium BCE, the Iberian Peninsula was home to a patchwork of cultures. Along the eastern and southern coasts, the Iberians thrived, and urbanized people who traded with Phoenicians, Greeks, and Carthaginians. Inland and in the north, however, new arrivals were making their mark, the Celts. The Celts were Indo-European-speaking peoples who had spread across much of Europe. In Iberia, they merged with local communities to form unique hybrid cultures, such as the Celtiberians. These tribes were fierce warriors, known for their iron weaponry, hill forts, and a deep connection to their rugged landscapes. They left behind distinctive artifacts, beautiful jewelry, decorated pottery, and mysterious stone sculptures that still fascinate archaeologists today. Genetically, the Celts brought a different profile to Iberia, with wide DNA lineages common in Central and Western Europe. 
Their arrival didn't replace the Iberians entirely, but added a significant new layer to the peninsula's genetic tapestry. Over centuries, intermarriage blurred the distinctions between Celt and Iberian, creating a cultural and biological blend that was neither fully one nor the other. The Iberians, for their part, had already been shaped by earlier migrations from the eastern Mediterranean. Their DNA showed links to ancient North Africans and Near Eastern farmers, reflecting centuries of contact across the sea. Together with the Celts, they formed a dynamic mix, both resisting and adapting to outside influences. By the time the Romans arrived, Iberia was far from a monolithic land. Instead, it was a complex network of tribes, alliances, and rivalries. In some regions, the Celts dominated. In others, Iberian traditions remained strong. This mosaic of peoples and genes set the stage for centuries of change, as the peninsula became a prize for empires seeking control of its rich resources and strategic position. Even today, genetic studies find traces of both Iberian and Celtic ancestry in Spaniards, especially in regions like Galicia, Leon, and northern Portugal, where Celtic heritage runs deep in both blood and tradition. When the Romans set their sights on the Iberian Peninsula in the 3rd century BCE, they encountered a land of fierce tribes, Celtic, Iberian, and mixed Celtiberian communities. The Roman conquest, which lasted nearly two centuries, was not just a military campaign, but a profound cultural and genetic transformation. As Rome established its provinces of Hispania, soldiers, settlers, and administrators poured in from across the vast empire, Italy, Gaul, North Africa, the Balkans, and even the Middle East. Many of these newcomers intermarried with local populations, leaving a lasting genetic imprint. Roman roads, cities, and trade networks connected once isolated regions, increasing the movement of people and ideas. Latin became the dominant language, eventually evolving into modern Spanish, Catalan, and other Iberian Romance languages. Yet, while the Romans imposed their governance and culture, they also absorbed local customs, foods, and traditions, creating a fusion that was distinctly Hispano-Roman. Genetic studies reveal that Roman era migrations introduced Mediterranean and even Near Eastern DNA into the Iberian gene pool. This influence was strongest in urban centers and along the coasts where trade and settlement were heaviest. In contrast, remote mountain areas retained more of their pre-Roman genetic heritage. The fall of Rome in the 5th century CE did not erase its legacy. Roads, city layouts, and Latin-based languages endured, as did the genes of countless Roman settlers and soldiers. For modern Spaniards, the Roman period represents one of the most significant infusions of foreign ancestry, woven so deeply into the fabric of the population that it has become inseparable from the concept of Spanish identity itself. With the collapse of Roman authority in the early 5th century CE, the Iberian Peninsula entered a new chapter of migration and conquest. Germanic tribes, most notably the Visigoths and the Swabi, crossed the Pyrenees into Hispania. The Swabi settled mainly in the northwest, in present-day Galicia and northern Portugal, while the Visigoths established a powerful kingdom centered in Toledo. Though initially outsiders, these tribes soon adopted many aspects of Roman governance, language, and law. In turn, intermarriage between Germanic elites and local Hispano-Romans blended their genetic legacies. The Visigoths in particular left an enduring mark. Their ruling dynasty lasted nearly three centuries, overseeing a period of relative unity in the peninsula before the Muslim conquest. While their numbers were small compared to the local population, genetic traces of northern and central European ancestry linked to these Germanic migrants still appear in certain regions of Spain today, especially in the north and central plateau. Culturally, the Visigoths helped bridge the Roman and medieval worlds, preserving Christianity, codifying laws, and influencing art and architecture. In genetic terms, their arrival was another layer in the Iberian mosaic, one more thread in the long and complex weave of Spanish ancestry. In 711 CE, a force of Berbers and Arabs crossed the Strait of Gibraltar, swiftly defeating the Visigothic kingdom and ushering in nearly eight centuries of Muslim presence in the Iberian Peninsula. This period, known as Al-Andalus, transformed Spain culturally, scientifically, and genetically. The initial conquerors were a mix of North African Berbers and Arab leaders from the Umayyad Caliphate. Over time, many settled in Iberia, intermarrying with the local population. 
This brought a measurable infusion of North African and Middle Eastern DNA into the Spanish gene pool, especially in southern and western regions, such as Andalusia and Extremadura. Al-Andalus became a center of learning, blending Islamic, Christian, and Jewish traditions. Cities like Cordoba and Granada flourished, and the movement of people, scholars, merchants, and soldiers kept genetic exchange flowing. While the Christian reconquista gradually pushed Muslim rule southward, many Muslims and their descendants remained, converting to Christianity or integrating into local communities. Genetic studies confirm that traces of North African ancestry are still detectable in modern Spaniards, averaging between 2% and 10% in many regions, with higher levels in the South. This influence, combined with earlier layers from Celts, Romans, and Germanic tribes, deepened the peninsula's role as a true crossroads of civilizations. Even after the fall of Granada in 1492, the legacy of al Andalus lived on in language, architecture, agriculture, and in the DNA of the Spanish people. It remains one of the most significant and visible chapters in Spain's genetic history. Recent advances in genetic research have given scientists a clearer picture of Spain's ancestral tapestry, and it's even more complex than once thought. Studies using whole genome analysis reveal that modern Spaniards carry a blend of European, Mediterranean, and North African genetic signatures, layer over thousands of years of migration and settlement. While the majority of Spanish DNA is rooted in ancient Iberian and Celtic populations, significant traces from Romans, Germanic tribes, and North African settlers remain. Interestingly, scientists have also found small amounts of Jewish ancestry, remnants of the once thriving Sephardic communities that lived in Spain for centuries before their expulsion in 1492. Even more surprising, genetic markers from as far away as Sub Saharan Africa and the Middle East occasionally appear, likely introduced through trade the Islamic period, and Spain's role in the global age of exploration. These findings challenge the idea of a pure Spanish lineage, instead revealing a dynamic history of openness and exchange. Spain's genetic profile is not a static snapshot. It's a living record of centuries of cultural contact, migration, and adaptation. Modern Spain is often celebrated for its rich culture, regional diversity, and deep historical roots. But genetics reveals that Spanish identity is not just about shared traditions or language. It's also about a remarkable blending of peoples over thousands of years. From the earliest Iberian tribes and Celtic migrants to Roman settlers, Germanic warriors, and North African merchants, every wave of migration has left its mark. The Spanish genome is a living archive of this history, reflecting a mosaic rather than a single origin. Even the influence of Sephardic Jews... Phoenician traders, and occasional sub-Saharan African lineages tells a story of land that has always been connected to the wider world. In a country with strong regional identities, Catalan, Basque, Andalusian, Galician, genetics also shows subtle differences between populations shaped by local history and geography. Yet, these variations are tied together by shared layers of ancestry that span the peninsula. Today, being Spanish means carrying the legacy of countless ancestors whose lives were shaped by conquest, trade, migration, and coexistence. It's a reminder that cultural richness often springs from diversity, and that national identity can be strengthened, not diluted by its many threads. In this way, Spain's DNA mirrors its culture, a harmonious blend of influences that together creates something uniquely its own.